Hey everyone, I want to make a quick video going over how to get Crab Tool set up so that it can talk to Hurt so that you can get models and textures out of Halo Infinite. What you're going to need to do, you need to go to my GitHub, click this green button for code, and download it as a zip. Okay. Next, you're going to need to make sure your Halo Infinite is installed to the current season. We'll get back to that in a moment. And we will wait for this to download. Now, while this is downloading, you might as well start up Halo Infinite because you'll need it briefly to be on for the tag extraction aspect of it. That way, Hurt can work correctly. All right, this is done. So we are going to extract all. Turn down Halo Infinite because it's getting a little. There we go. Okay. All right. So once Crab Tool is extracted, you will open it and you will see various files. Now, what we're going to have to do is I have packaged her inside of here. And you're going to need to install this first. Okay, and I had to break it up into three separate RAR files uh, because GitHub doesn't allow for 100 megabyte files. So select all of them, right click, go to show more options if you're on Windows 11, but you're going to want to just see extract here. Okay, and then you will see the setup file in here. So I'll run the MSI, you'll see the Hurt Wizard. And now you can put this technically wherever you want, but just for the sake of things, I'm going to make it be where this is currently at. Okay, users, e, download, oh sweet Jesus, here, better yet. Make sure this is going to the right spot. It's going to here, hurt, CLI, boom. Next, next. Authenticate it. Okay, you'll see all these folders and files start popping up, and you're going to close it. Okay? Now, the next thing you're going to do is you are going to run Halo Infinite Research Tools. I have to run it as administrator because I have my G drive, which Halo Infinite is in, is currently locked by administrator. Uh, I messed up something, so I, I just have to do this for everything now. So you might not have to run it as admin, um, but it should pop up like this. If it does not, it's probably because your antivirus, like Windows Defender, uh, has blocked the DLL file for it. Um, so you have to, you'll have to figure that out. It's, uh, it's not a virus, but Windows Defender sure thinks it might be, so it tries to get rid of it. Um, but once you get it open, you can go to Tools, Tag, Structs, Dumper, and then you basically choose where you want this to be output to, right? So for this instance, I will choose my downloads folder and I'll just put it right where I just installed or just got crab tool. So I'll just do like halo infinite tags, there go select folder, it's here. And now we're gonna dump this from the running game. So halo infinite has to be running for this to work, okay? Now we're gonna sit here for a little bit. It, this progress bar doesn't work for some reason, but your computer should make a louder noise <laughs> because it's processing it. Uh, and once this bar goes away, you should be good to get to the next step, which will be uh, setting the tag reader directory. Okay, and it's there. And now let's make sure that it showed up correctly. So Halo Infinite tags, these are all here now. That's good. So now we're going to Tools, Preferences, tag readers and make sure your active directory is the one that you just do and in hurt should set this automatically once you dump your tags but just to make sure make sure it's there and once that's set you can close it okay 
and then go back to your crab tool directory, go to hurt, and then one more for good measure. That way the, you know the um, settings you did take place. Try to run the tool one more time. That way it kind of initializes itself with those new locations, and then you can close it. All right. Now the next thing you want to do is open Blender. Oh, and again, I have to open Blender as administrator because I'm a goofball. Uh, but you might not have to if you don't have um, silly permission issues on your hard drive. So, that'd be cool. so new scene. You're going to want to install Crab Tools. So go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install. Go to where you just got it from, and it's going to be the Crab Tool V20. Uh, this right here is a way to help uh, apply the preferences. So you'll see in a moment, once you select Crab Tool V20 and click the checkbox, there's a lot of dependencies that it relies on depending on what you want to do. But for Halo Infinite, we only have to worry about the export path, the Hurt CLI, and the Halo Infinite deploy. Okay? So for the uh, export path, we're going to go to our downloads folder go to where you put crab tool or where you extracted the zip file from my github right we'll go to the export assets here folder okay you should see a shaders file here Hit okay and then you're going to want to go to hurt cli okay you want to go to downloads again and you want to find where you installed hurt at it should have all of these in it okay and it should look like this at the end. It should look like just the folder. Sometimes people click extra stuff and there's extra stuff on there. So make sure that there's no extra stuff. It's just the assets folder, export assets folder, and the hurt folder. And then for Halo Infinite Deploy, you're going to go to where Halo Infinite is installed at. For me, it's my Steam library, Steam apps, common, Halo Infinite Deploy. Okay? And once you're in here, don't click any of these. Just hit accept. And it should look like this. Okay. All right, now what we're going to want to do is press the N key on your keyboard or click the little arrow and you'll open up the panel. Okay. Now you're going to want to click the show model import menu and you're going to want to collapse this menu. That way you have more real estate. All right, and then for you can grab this little thing here, make it bigger, grab the sides, click the arrow to make a little search bar up here. All right. Now we don't have anything yet from Halo Infinite, but we're going to grab it. So. We are going to go to Halo Infinite in the drop down menu, okay? And we're going to create a model report. But before we do that, and before you do anything with Crab Tool, it's really helpful to go to Window, Console. That way you can kind of see what's going on and if anything gets hung up, or you can kind of check the progress um, or if it's still running. Sometimes it'll blend over freeze and you'll have no idea what it's doing, but you'll know it's still working if you have this open, okay? And so when you click Create Model Report, Blender will take a long time if you have the other dependency preferences set. But since we have Halo Infinite, it should only take maybe about 10 seconds. All right. And so what this is going to do is it's going to go into your export folder. It's going to create a reports folder, and it's going to basically report all the, the assets. So you click that. It's going to freeze. It's doing some reporting here. Okay, it's found all the chunks and it's done. All right, so now we should check our folder. There's a reports folder and now there is the model report folder and these are all of the mode tags in Halo Infinite. And now you'll click models and props and boom, you got your full list here of all your models. Okay, and due to how Halo Infinite Season 3 and 4 are, there are no longer nice strings for models, unfortunately, so there's not like anything called an assault rifle, it's going to be something like 132, 1133792, and it's really painful to look for. Um, I tried my best to add some custom um, naming conventions to things. So if you if you press the space key or the parenthesis on here, um, you should be able to see some of the things I added in here. Um, and so you can like click the soda can. Um, well, this should be longer. I'm kind of curious if it's quite different. That's fine. Um, so we're going to go and let's say we select something. Wait, let's say we select a soda can. 
there are two main buttons to worry about. There's export to folder, and there's import to blender. Okay, so export to folder will go into your export folder, and it'll create a folder depending on your game. So it'll create a folder called Halo Infinite Exports, and inside of that, you will see it working. There's Halo Infinite Exports now. There's the soda can. And we're going to open up the console to make sure it's working. And you're seeing all the JSON it has to process. It's talking to Hurt. That way it can get these big JSON packages out, parse them through, get the bitmap IDs and the material IDs. And it'll, it'll slowly start filling this with the needed textures that are linked up to the, uh, in the code. And then at the very end, you should see finished exporting model and textures for this number. That is the number of the ID of that model. So now here's your model, and here are your textures, all ready in one little folder. Okay. Now the difference for import to Blender is it kind of does the same thing. However, it does it in a different way, and it then directly imports it to Blender for you. Okay. So you'll hit this, you can turn on your console so you can watch it run. And I'll open this so you can kind of see what it looks like. And so here's our model for the can. It just showed up. And I made another folder get created for the texture score. Okay, and then here we'll see these start to appear and disappear. It's, these are the JSON files inside of here, which get read, and once it's done, these get deleted. So you see here. Oh, and then there's our can. Oh, it looks like this actually looked good. I think I left this so that you can actually see the JSON for the materials um, later. So. Alright, and so here we have our can. And since they are, for some reason, importing super small, I think it's an issue with um, the FBX uh, scaling that comes out of her. So if you have issues seeing stuff, press uh, N on your keyboard or make sure this panel is open. Go to View and change this to 0.001. That way you can kind of look at stuff a bit more up close. Okay, So it should import directly to your scene for you automatically. Um, and then that way you can kind of see what you just imported. So like let's say, let's say I have no idea what uh, what some of these are. right? Let's say I've, I pick some one of these random things. Uh, I really hope it's not a big thing, but I'll hit import to Blender. Right? It'll chug along. It'll do what it needs to do. And then I'll go to export. Oh, it's done already. Look at that. I don't even know what that is. OK. So we can kind of peel back some layers on it. Looks like it might be some effect of some sort, some sort of maybe a charm. Um, or it could be just, I don't know, something that's not super important. Might be some effect or, or something like that, maybe like objective point or like a waypoint or something. All right, so that's one way to see the models before you import them. You just you just hit import to Blender. It should just shut it right in here once it's done processing everything. Okay, and that's pretty much how you use Crab Tool with Halo Infinite Extraction. Uh, I tried to make it as simple as possible because this is a really big pain in the butt. Um, if you wanted to, uh, now let's say you wanted view objects before trying to search through here and without having to be importing everything just to see what it looks like. Uh, you can use Hurt for that. Um, however, due to the memory leak issue, it might uh, be, become really slow later on and there's no way to close tabs all at once. So you can only do about 50 models at once before you have to close it. Um, so, but we'll, I'll give you an example of how you would do that. So we're gonna open Halo Infinite Research Tools, okay, let's open, go to File, Open Directory, and we're gonna choose the Deploy Directory for Halo Infinite, okay, it's gonna load up. Okay, it's gonna give this warning, that's normal, and then it's gonna, the UI is gonna kind of freeze a little bit. And there we go, you'll click Root, get this a little bit bigger, go down to the mode, Tab here, boom, all right. And then these are gonna be your models, all right? So usually the more resource chunks there are, the more um, 
meshes the object has. So like if you had one with a lot, it might be a dead body. It could be something with like a lot of permutations. It could be the Spartans. It could be a vehicle, you know, but let's say, let's try this one out. Okay. Here is a, probably a forerunner piece. Okay. And if you use your left mouse button, you can move it around and you use your right mouse button, you can rotate the object. All right. Now, if you wanted to, let's say, grab this because you know what this is, right? Uh, you will have to track this number here, the negative 1085792, all right? So let's say we go to Blender, okay? And let's move it a little bit to the right. And you're gonna have to do this in parts because the one, one downside of this whole thing is, you know, it's kind of um, difficult to get the models and the textures out through this, but it's also, you can't have more than one thing running at a time. So you can only, you can't run hurt through Blender if hurt's already running. But let's say we found our object, negative 1085792000. Here it is, okay? So we have it, we found it. So now we can close hurt, give it a second so the process can actually close on the back end, and then we will try to import from Blender and it'll do its thing, get the JSON data, find the material IDs, all right. And then here, our export assets folder, we should see the model, and then we should see the textures for the model, okay. And it looks like there's a lot of materials for this. I see material ID, material ID, and each material ID has a bunch of bitmap IDs. So what it does is it scrubs through the model JSON to find all the material IDs, and then it parses through each and every material ID to get more JSON for every material ID. And once all material IDs are found, which these are all the materials, then it scrubs through each one, builds a list of all the bitmap IDs, and then it begins the extraction for the bitmaps. And now it looks like it's beginning the bitmap extraction because it found all of the IDs and it's going to start going and ripping it. Okay, so some models are going to have a ton of bitmaps that has to do, and some models are just going to be pretty simple. All right, so the Spartans, vehicles, Forerunner objects, stuff like that are going to have a lot of materials, so you're going to have to sit here and wait for a while, but it's better than trying to run it one by one um, through Hurt or through other things and trying to find, go through the the structure set, find all the IDs, go to each one separately, and then extract each one one by one. This way you can kind of just sit here and watch as it happens. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit more user-friendly in that sense. Um, so I hope it's helpful. But I believe that is all the important information. Uh, if I've forgotten anything or you're finding issues, please let me know. Uh, I would love to help out. So join the Halo Archive and reach out to me there if you have any issues. Thanks. Bye.